Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're getting into some NFL action for week four and before we do I want to invite you to join and you'll have access to the VIP club section and again you see all these tabs here? These have all tools that you'll need to help you make your picks. Okay so the NFL now is in week four and it's been really a strange season so far. Actually Kind of difficult to make predictions. It's been very, uh, very wild and crazy as far as the outcomes are concerned. But we'll take a shot at it again this week. It's a full slate of games, and we will take a look at five of those games. And the first game we want to take a look at. Uh, let's see. Scroll down through your list. Uh, Minnesota and Green Bay in the NFC North. This is a classic battle here. Look here. Both teams are burning hot. Uh, Minnesota comes in 3-0. Green Bay has won their last two after an opening week loss to Philadelphia. Um, if you see the odds for this game, it is a um, Green Bay home favorite by 2.5 points. And you can see that the over-under is at 43.5. If you look at the over-under, as far as how the teams have been performing over and under, uh, it has been the last three games, or all three, I should say, this season for Minnesota have been under the line, and two of the three games for Green Bay have been over the line. The score prediction is for Minnesota 25-22, uh, but that confidence is really ra rather low at only 34%. If you look at the hot trends here, Green Bay has won 80% as a favorite in the last five games, but you also have to notice that, that uh, Minnesota has covered the spread 100% all five of the last games as an underdog. That's a very impressive stat right there. Um, if we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Green Bay is at plus 28 compared to plus 23 for Minnesota, despite Minnesota having a better record. Head to head, uh, interestingly enough, the teams uh, split last season, but the interesting part about it is that uh, the road team won both times, and both times in blowout fashion 23 point win for Green Bay and 14 point win for Minnesota. Let's take a look at the money line here. If you take a look here, uh, well, really nothing has happened, right? So you can see it opened at 2.1, and it's basically at the same. It's it's at now at 2.02. So there's been very, very little change in the money line. So I like that trend to end as far as the road team winning. I like the Packers at home. Just got a feeling it's, it, Minnesota is going to lose at some point. Packers are usually tough at home. Let's go with the Packers, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. New Orleans and Atlanta. This is another strange game. Um, Atlanta beat Philadelphia. New Orleans blew out Dallas, but yet lost at home to Philadelphia last week. So anyway, uh, they come in average down. The, uh, the Saints 2-1 and one versus dead for Atlanta 1-2. and two. Um, The point spread here is a 2.5 point line. And we can see as in favor of Atlanta at home, with odds of 1.85 to 1.98, and the over/under sitting at 42.5. But you notice New Orleans has a 58% chance of winning this game. Uh, the score prediction has Atlanta on top, 25-17. But again, the confidence is still rather low at only 58%. The recommendation here: low confidence underdog value pick on New Orleans three and a half stars. But let's take a look at some other things here. Uh, Atlanta is plus 20 compared to plus 10, but both teams on the downward trend. If we take a look at the stability factor, we have not stable at all, right? Minus one for both teams, meaning both teams are inconsistent regarding their play with their favorite underdog status. Let's take a look at the money line. This is another game that looks like it's going to be pretty tough to predict, but we're going to take our best shot. The money line here. Again, very little movement, opened at 1.833 and is now at 1.847. So very little movement in the money line. I like New Orleans to win this one in a game over the line. I think they're going to get back on track. And I don't really, still really don't believe in Atlanta. They kind of got lucky in their win against Philadelphia. They very easily could be over three. Um, next game we want to take a look at. There's a lot of games here, so we're going to scroll through a bunch of them. We only have time to do about five of them here. I like to do four or five each week. 
And the next game we want to take a look at here is Washington and Arizona. Washington has been a surprise team, winning two out of their last three, coming in burning hot. Arizona is at dead status. They are one and two, and they're coming off of a home loss to Detroit. Despite the uh, change in the stat as burning hot to dead, Arizona is a home favorite. At three and a half point home favorite. You see the odds of, of 1.54 to 2.547. The over under is sitting at 50.5. Arizona has, and I don't know what happened just there. So, so we're going to go back down. Any glitch in the system. Let's get back to the game. Here we go. So you can see that Arizona has a 52% chance of winning this game. The score prediction is for Washington 29, Arizona 28. Confidence in the prediction is at 73%. And you notice that Washington is a five-star underdog value pick. And uh, five-star uh, road dogs in burning hot status are 0-1, though, in the last 30 days. Let's take a look at a couple other things here. We take a look at the power ranks indicator. Um, Washington is very low at plus one. Despite the way they're playing this season, Washington is very low at plus one. That's telling you something. It means that there's really not much belief in, in Washington. And Arizona is at plus 24. The stability factor. Neither team has been particularly consistent regarding their favorite underdog status, which isn't that surprising here. I mean, we're, we are early on, so nobody's going to be that high or that low up at this point. You can see the money line. Looks like there's been no change in the money line. Here you can see it right here. You, I don't even have to zoom in. You can see the blue line for Arizona. It is straight across. So, again, these are tough games to pick, but I am going to go, I'm going to go with Washington to cover. The line is three and a half points. Arizona could still very well win. It could be a three-point win for Arizona, but Washington is going to cover, and they could come right out and win the game. We're going to look at Kansas City and the Chargers. This is going to be a great game, I believe, in the AFC West. The Kansas City just keeps finding ways to win. They are 3-0, and while the Chargers are 2-1, and coming off of a loss to the Steelers. Kansas City is a 7.5 point road favorite, odds of 1.51 to 2.63. The over under is sitting at 39.5. Um, Kansas City, look at this score prediction 39 13 in favor of the Chiefs. Confidence in the prediction is rather high at 60%. Regardless of the outcome, I don't think it's going to be a 26 point spread. Uh, Kansas City has won 80% in, as a favorite in the last five. And let's take a look at a couple other things. Low confidence underdog value pick on the Chargers, three stars. So you can see where this is leaning. This is leaning towards the Chiefs, but we'll take a look at a couple other things. The Chiefs are plus 27 to plus 2 on the power ranks indicator. And if we take a look at the money line, let's see what's happening here in the money line. So we opened at 1.37, and it's at 1.51 right now. So not a whole lot of change in the money line. A little less of a favorite for Kansas City, but there's still big favorites on the road here. So I do like the Chiefs minus the points, but I think it's going to be a game under the line. The last game we want to look at is Buffalo and Baltimore. Baltimore finally got a win. They are now 1-2 and two in the season. They are ice cold up. And they had a pretty nice win on the road against Dallas, 28-25. And they pretty much dominated the whole game until the very end when Dallas fought back a bit. And Buffalo is coming in 3-0. and oh. Baltimore is a slight favorite of 2.5 points at home. You see the odds are 1.85 to 1.98. The over-under is sitting at 46.5. The teams have been involved in games over the line in uh, five out of the first six games this year. Take notice that uh, Buffalo is a five-star uh, underdog value pick, but five-star underdog value pick in burning hot, hot status 0-1 this season. Take that into consideration. Um, Let's look at the power ranks indicator. Very tight here. Buffalo at plus 30 compared to plus, or 31 compared to plus 30. Uh, how consistent are the teams right now? Still early on, but Buffalo is more consistent regarding their favorite underdog status than Baltimore. Not surprising because Baltimore pretty much been predicted to do well. They have not yet this season, so thus they have not performed according to their favorite underdog status. Any movement in the money line? So far, there really hasn't been any movement in the money line detected. 
Uh, maybe because it was still a few days out before the game at the time of, the, of this recording. But there was a slight movement. It opened at 1.73 for the Ravens and is now at 1.847. So not as much of a fair, but they are still favorites. And I am going to go with Baltimore. I just think a couple factors here. They are at home. They cannot afford to drop to 1-3. and three, And Buffalo is going to have to lose at some point. And I think this is the week. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL. Happy betting, and we'll see you next time.